Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna do a Paragon video. And so this first video is just gonna talk about how you should, well, how I play Paragon. Well, I'm gonna talk for the first eight, nine minutes. And then the next two videos are gonna be gameplay. And so off the start, you want to buy your health potion and your mana potion. And uh, you can get yourself a harvester key or you can get yourself a scout ward. Uh, your choice. Because usually people do end up getting a uh, harvester key so you usually don't have to. So what harvester keys do is, well, they place a harvester. You go down to a well and you place it down. Which I'll show later in the video. And I am the enemy team or the orange team. Or red team if you want to call it. And here I am with Tails, and we are reversing real people, PvP. I'm playing as Iggy and Scorch. So, and Scout Wards are basically, you place them down, and any enemy that comes within the range of the Scout Ward is gonna get um, spotted on the map. So, they're useful. Uh, yeah, so you can keep them just about through the entire game if you want and you can see here that our team is split and that we have uh, one one to the one player to the right one player to the left and we have we have us two here and then where's our teammate Okay, our teammate just left us over there. Grass keeps going over to the right side. And here you can see us playing it quite well. We are we have kept them at bay. And so he's Gideon. And I am Iggy. And here we have an Iggy and a Gideon. So while this was going on, we were talking to each other and we're like, this is just a battle on who's better at playing Iggy and Gideon. And and uh, I like I'm not saying that I'm the best. Neither in Tails does admit that he's not the best Gideon player, and that is true. We 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 just have fun playing them. They're really fun characters. Gideon Zoki, Iggy Zoki. Like you could say they're OP, but they're easy to counteract. But then uh, in here he's getting attacked by the enemy Grux, and I I begin to fall back and help him. Out. And at the start, you want to unlock your flame turret, says Iggy. So, yeah, that's what you should be doing. And Iggy is the only character that I really know well. So, after you unlock your flame turret, you can either unlock uh, your oil spill or your oil slick. Oil spill is your AoE damage, and here you can see me retreating back to the base. It's where uh, oil spill, which is your circle here, is going to put oil on the ground and you can set it on fire and it does decent amount of damage over an area and oil slick which is your r1 ability is is useful it, it, sure it's not damage great but like it's nice to use when you want to get out of sticky situations so let's say you're you get flanked right you just and here i'm using the harvester key which just speeds up placing the harvester like you don't need a harvester key to place down a harvester but it takes 30 seconds instead of six uh, i'm not sure about the 30 seconds but i six seconds yeah with the harvester key but it takes a lot longer with, uh, without the harvester key so here you can see that I am targeting minions. That, honestly, a lot of the games I've played, I am the guy who earns a lot of experience. And honestly, I gotta say it's because of those turrets. They annihilate minion, Especially if you combine it with oil spill because the turrets just set it on fire. And then that entire area is basically locked down. And you do a decent amount of damage with oil spill. Remember, oil spill and oil flick are two different things. And I might get them mixed up because I'm, I'm dumb like that, so, yeah. So, this is a replay, if you guys haven't noticed. So, we're four or five minutes in, and we still haven't destroyed this tower yet. But we did push Iggy back, dude, uh, and he, Gideon was the only one left. 
And later you'll see a mistake that I do. And a lot of people, well, I, well, a lot of new people to MOBAs would make that mistake, but... It, well, I played it for a while, so you could sort of call me a newbie, but... Well, I'm not... I'm, well, I'm good with Iggy, but not really any other character, so... And there, I... Whenever someone's glowing like that, if, if, if they glow green, they... Okay, there I took a kill. Oh, no, 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 I didn't take the kill. The minions did. I remember this. Yeah, the minions were going in. I, I went back to... They, the Rex was a one-shot for me. But then the minions were like, no, we got this. We got this. So here you can see me pushing. And I use my ultimate on Gideon, which knocked him back. And then I start running away. That isn't the mistake. Because Iggy's... Iggy, you can basically make him a tank, so he can take a uh, punishment. And even with low mana and like below half health, Iggy is still a formidable character to fight. So just be careful when you do end up fighting Iggy. And this guy over here, Zulu, um, isn't the best Iggy player because I remember I was complaining. Well. I, I, I was complaining that he's a bad Iggy player, but honestly I was happy because one of the first things that he unlocked was his oil spill, not his flame turret. Because the first ability that you use is steam, and when we did reverse, I saw him use the oil spill, and I was like, why? Because flame turret is Iggy's main thing, and it's really annoying. Like, that's why I always hate going up against Iggy. I, I don't even want to imagine how other players feel about versing Iggy. Because Iggy is such an annoying character. And, like, once you get rid of him, you know he's going to respawn. Yeah. So here, you can see that I'm back to full health. I've come back. And, yeah, that's basically all you need to know about Iggy. And then later game, you want to upgrade your equipment and all that. So yeah. We were holding this area aggressively. We didn't push the tower much. And I think it was I think it's here where I, I do something foolish. I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's see if I did the dumb thing. Yeah, I did the dumb thing here. And that is I got kill hungry. As you can see here, I used my ultimate, then he used his ultimate and killed me. So, I used my ultimate to kill the enemy Iggy, and then Gideon used his ultimate to kill me. He honestly was... that, that was good timing. I could have made it out. Now, here, <laughs> Kales uses his ultimate, so he doesn't get the kill, unfortunately. And that, that's the thing. You don't want to get kill hungry in those types of situations. Unless you know that they don't have their ultimate, because Gideon's ultimate... I wasn't expecting that. I got caught off by surprise. So, yeah. Which was quite unfortunate. So, this will this is basically what you need to know about Paragon. So, in the next two videos, uh it's just going to be gameplay. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoy. It's been 9 minutes of me talking. Hopefully you enjoy. Hello?